as at a few years ago, people had to travel long distances to healthcare institutions for consultations and diagnosis. This also included traveling abroad for these services. However, the internet has continued to make the world a global village and bring people closer than before. Telemedicine effectively connects individuals and healthcare providers despite the location and distance. With the click of a button, patients can receive care, consult with the provider, get information about a condition or treatment, arrange for prescriptions and receive a diagnosis at a convenience. BYON8 is enabling telemedicine in Kenya. BYON8 is a digital health application uh, that was originally founded in Sweden uh, but uh, now scaling up and operating in Kenya. We provide doctor consultations online uh, to our clients uh, as well as a symptom checker that lets our users self-assess themselves and their ailments. And, and lastly but not least, uh, the user can also get uh, something called the medical package uh, where we offer our services uh, under one subscription. Uh, in the application. In 2016, Joseph Murad, CEO of BYN8, was visiting Kenya for a medical exchange program, and it is then that he had first hand experience with the Kenyan healthcare sector. The country was in a desperate need for change and infrastructure in the primary care sector. BYN8 came about around 2016 2017, uh, which uh, was also grounded in the idea to use. A digital innovation uh, to push healthcare and make it more affordable and more accessible. Uh, ultimately, um, that's why we are here as a company uh, because we want to make an impact in the healthcare market. Uh, and uh, essentially, all of that is connected to our core in the product, which we call our medical engine or symptom checker. Uh, that uh, enables our users to self-assess themselves uh, for free uh, in the application and then take them through the entire healthcare journey. Kenya has been long referred to as the Silicon Savannah due to the mushrooming large numbers of tech-based startups. More recently, a new breeding ground for innovative digital health solutions. Kenya is, is an ideal market for I think in general digital products and, and apps that are blooming and, and this is because uh, the foundation really is here. You have a mobile payment infrastructure through M-Pesa for example which has penetrated the entire market. Uh, you have smartphones, uh, you have internet penetration, uh, there is also uh, the language uh, which uh, you could use English in a lot of places as well as Swahili to reach out to the users. Um, and lastly but not least, uh, there is digital literacy and adoption of products. Uh, Kenyans uh, are very willing to adopt a product that gives convenience and that, that works digitally. Telemedicine has made it possible to utilize technology in the healthcare sector as it continues to bring services closer to people more than ever before. All your outpatient primary care needs as a consumer we can cater for that within the Binate app. Whether that is talking to a doctor online, whether that is getting your lab tests done, getting your medication, uh, if you're a diabetic, for example, and need follow-up, all of that can be attended to within the Binate app. And the user journey is fairly simple. You download the application on App Store, Play Store, anywhere you'd like. Uh, you start your sign-up process, you log in with your Google Mail or Facebook, whatever you prefer. Uh, and then from there, you interact with the app however you'd like. So if you want to just check your symptoms, you do that with our symptom checker for free. If you want to talk to a doctor directly, maybe get a prescription, maybe get a consultation, you go ahead and do that in the application. You can pay out of pocket with via M-Pesa. Lastly, you could also subscribe. And we do always tend to recommend our users to subscribe through the service because when you do subscribe, we actually give you unlimited access to all healthcare services within an outpatient setting. So 
lab tests, diagnostics, consultations. There is one fee for it and there is no limit. According to Vivian Womalua, growth manager at BYN8, the company is looking to partner with Safaricom to avail a USSD option for users that have no access to smartphones or internet connection in rural areas. Um, we, we are hoping that uh, we'll be able to reach a lot more Kenyans and a lot of them will be able to access uh, the services and also on the app. Actually, the other part of it is that uh, for a family that is buying a medical package, if you're the father in the house and you're the only one with a smartphone, you're able to actually add your children, your dependents, your wife and your children if they do not have smartphones. You can add them as dependents under your profile. We have a, I think, a very simple model to follow, which is that healthcare should be a right and it shouldn't be a privilege. Uh, basic healthcare services and primary care is not something that you should, you know, dig deep in your pocket for and, and try to access. Rather, this is something that should be uh, ubiquitous and everyone should be able to access these services. And ultimately, that is our vision and what we're trying to kind of strive for as a company. With rapid innovations taking place in the delivery of healthcare, the potential for telemedicine to grow is immeasurable and will continue to be impactful to both patients and healthcare providers.